recording I'm going to be looking at raw data being able to process raw data. I have some raw data here this comes from the pendulum experiment where we have <coughs> our length which is L and then we have different uh, times um, for each length we measure the period for each one and we did a, a number of different times so I'll be using this data, I'll be formatting this data I have this document over here uh, which you should also have this data collecting uh, collection and processing explanation document so that you'll find useful I'll use that so generally as it states here we would have our data looking something like this you should use always use Excel uh, this is your independent uh, variable um, here and these are all your uh, dependent variables there um, now let's just do a little bit of formatting with it the first thing that we need to do is to put in reasonable headings for each one so I'm going to call this obviously here probably just use length and we need to always make sure that we've got our unit so in this case we used our unit we would also need to estimate our error but I'll come back for this this is the period of oscillation I'm going to call this period 1 and then I can just drag this all the way across and I should should read them all out for me actually before I do that let me just put in here uh, my unit so this is period it is measured in seconds and that will be the first one so let me just do that there we go we are all the way along to there so there I've got my headings now I'm going to insert here a row and the, the reason for that is that I need to estimate my error now for this one here I'm going to say this is plus minus uh, 0 0.01 cent, uh, meters one centimeter that's uh, what I estimate will be my error for that you need to make that and you need to justify that for the error for your period um, for the time uh, this will come this will come later and you get that error from looking at your actual readings the five different readings now what's important here is that these values should always be to the same number of significant figures so I have got here um, one zero point zero one so in here there is too many significant figures so I need to change this and generally here right the way through um, we can we'll be able to adjust this later when we do our processing data but I would cut all of these down uh, to two decimal places all the way through so we we do that by highlighting the I can actually highlight my whole table and then I go to this function over here and I reduce it all the way down to two decimal places the point being that you cannot have you cannot have data that is more accurate than your your error estimation that would make sense so there we have our there we have our basic raw data table we see that we've got the same number of significant figures um, right the way through our table and we have our error function we have it all nicely labeled we have our units always in our units are there um, we will need to explain uh, looking at your experimental design where that 0 0.01 meters came from thank you